Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of our Explain the Basics series. This week's episode is titled Everything Else, and as it suggests, this episode will cover terminology that didn't fit in any of the previous episodes. Simple enough really, so let's get going with our first piece of terminology. PTZ PTZ stands for Pan Tilt Zoom. It is an acronym that you'll see quite often in the product name or description of a lot of IP cameras. They're designed to allow the user to view a much larger area with a single camera by panning, tilting and zooming than is possible with a fixed lens camera. But because of all these moving parts, PTZs more often than not are huge and not very practical for homes and other small structures. On top of this, if you don't have a security guard or operator constantly moving the camera, you're wasting its PTZ function and would probably be better off with a fixed camera. The example we always give to people expecting a PTZ to be a fun toy to play with is to imagine you pointed the camera at your garage in case of a burglary, but then at the weekend you logged in and moved the camera to look at the birds on the bird table and then forgot to move it back to the garage when you'd finished. If you're then burgled you will not only have lost prized possessions but also have a thousand pound camera that did nothing to help you catch the culprits. Which is why in most cases we advise to just stick with fixed cameras. Image compression. Compression is crucial to recording and streaming IP footage as it greatly reduces the file size of your camera's output. This both optimises your bandwidth use and the storage space required. A negative of compression can be a small loss in video quality. Now traditionally the most popular codec used by IP cameras was H.264 but recently brands like Hikevision introduced the new H.265 Plus codec that offers incredible video compression. A camera setup that took up 10 terabytes using H.264 will now only take up 2 terabytes using H.265 Plus. Ingress protection. Ingress protection is an international standard used to indicate the degree of protection provided by enclosures for electrical equipment. You'll see it shortened on camera spec sheets to IP followed by two numbers, for example IP68. The first number is the camera's protection against intrusion, and the second number is the camera's protection against water. Now the numbers are a scale used to denote the level of protection a specific device has. Most outdoor IP cameras fall somewhere between IP61 and IP68. It means your camera is protected completely against dust and small particles. The 1 to 8 is the amount of water the camera is protected against from spitting rain and condensation at 1, right up to full immersion in deep water for extended periods of time at 8. The most common IP rating for outdoor cameras is IP66, which not only protects completely against dust, but also heavy rain and powerful jets of water. IR IR is short for infrared, Infrared is a colour of light that, like X-ray and ultraviolet, is not visible to the human eye. IR is used by IP cameras to help their image sensors see more clearly at night without having to use a bright and annoying floodlight. Some IP cameras feature a ring or window of LEDs that emit infrared light that then bounces off objects in front of the camera and back into the lens of the camera. Then the camera software will convert the infrared into black and white so that we can see it, IR performance can also be affected by the layout of the LEDs in relation to the camera's lens. For example, with most IR dome cameras, the LEDs are in a ring around the lens. This can cause something called IR reflection, where some of the infrared light bounces off the inside of the curved dome and straight back into the lens, causing bright spots on the image. OMVIF OMVIF is an international standard for IP products. It was designed to improve compatibility between IP products from different brands, because before the development of the OMVIF standard, a consumer had to buy all their equipment from a single manufacturer to be sure it would work properly. This made it very hard for smaller IP brands to gain traction and grow when they were competing against closed system setups from huge brands like Sony, Acti and others whilst also pushing away customers from using IP equipment because they were unsure that everything they bought would work together. Now, with the OMVIF standard, any IP product using it will be able to link with any other OMVIF product. This allows you, for example, to buy cameras from Hikevision and Axis and record them to a NAS device from Synology. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking here. Check the description below for links to our Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. 
Follow the link here for our web shop and if you want more videos like this click here. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.